Here's our problem. I want to find the coefficient of x to the 13th in the polynomial. Okay, we're going to take x plus x squared plus x cubed all the way up through x to the 6th power, then raise that to the 4th power. So this looks a little forbidding at first glance. We'll have two ways to get to our answer. Now, the first thing I can do, okay, note we could factor an x out of this. So when I bring an x out, it comes out as an x to the fourth power. So what we're really looking at is trying to find the coefficient of x to the ninth power in one plus x all the way up through x to the fifth raised to the fourth power. Now, that's only slightly better, but it'll make for nicer bookkeeping. For our first method, we just use brute force. So what I'll do is, I'm going to take 1 plus x plus x squared all the way up through x to the fifth. We'll square it, see what comes out, square it again, and then see how we get to x to the ninth power. Now, if we work this out longhand, there's a nice pattern. So we're going to have 1 plus 2x plus 3x squared. Okay, and that's going to increase okay, the coefficients up until I get to x to the fifth where we have a six, and then the coefficients start decreasing. Now, the reason why I've written this like this, well, what's gonna happen if we take this quantity squared and multiply it by itself again? Well, we're only gonna care about the terms that have an x to the ninth power in them, so we're just matching exponents that sum up to nine. So by the way that I've written this here, okay, so what happens? Well, I could put this with this, 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 then the x to the 10th power we're not going to worry about. Now, that means, okay, if I multiply this by this, I get a 30. This by this, I get a 20. This by this, I get a 12, 6, and a 2. But that's not everything. Okay, you'll note, for instance, okay, if I multiply this by itself, there are two ways to get that 30. I can take 5 from the first one, 6 from the second one, or six from the first one, five from the second one. So we're gonna take all these numbers, multiply by two, and that gets us to 140, our final answer. Now, if we wanna use a clever approach, we could pull out geometric power series. The way we get these into the picture, we'll take one plus x plus x squared up through x to the fifth, and we multiply by one minus x. Now when we do this, okay, this thing's gonna telescope, all the terms on the inside are gonna collapse to zero, and we'll be left with one minus x to the sixth power. So that gives us equality here. Now we can divide both sides by one minus x, then what we get, we raise to the fourth power on both sides. So we have this expression here. Now, that means, okay, we're gonna take our original expression, Instead, consider it in this manner. So we'll do two things. First, I'll expand the numerator using Pascal's triangle. Then for the denominator, okay, one over one minus x leads to the geometric power series. So if I take its derivative three times, we'll get one over one minus x to the fourth power with some scaling in front of it. So let's see what happens. Now, first, I want the fourth power of this expression, so we'll set up Pascal's triangle to get the coefficients. Now note, I'm only interested in the first two. If we're trying to get to x to the ninth power, okay, x to the twelfth power is not going to help us, so we could just stop here. Then for the denominator, okay, one over one minus x gives us our geometric power series which will converge when the absolute value of our x is less than one. We take derivatives, okay? When I get to the third derivative, I'm gonna have six over one minus x raised to the fourth power equal to this series here. Okay, so it's gonna be three, two, one plus four, three, two times x to the one plus five, four, three times x to the two. So note if I have the exponent, I just read across to get the coefficient. So two, three, four, five. Now, we're gonna multiply this by this, okay, divided by six, to get our 
polynomial in some form. So what we're going to do is figure out how we get to x to the ninth. So from the 1, I'm just going to consider the coefficient of x to the ninth in this expression divided by 6. So note, I would start with a 9, and then it'll be 10, 11, 12, and then we divide by 6. We have minus 4x to the 6th, so I'll look at the third power. So we'll have x to the third, 4, 5, 6, and then we divide by 6, and then we put our minus 4 out in front. So that's going to be our coefficient of x to the ninth power. Now, if we simplify this, I have 220 minus 80, which gives our 140, and that agrees with our first method, so we've checked our work.